Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. We have y to the power of 6 minus y to the power of 3 equals 2. The first step is to bring everything to the left. So we have y to the power of 6 minus y to the power of 3 minus 2 equal to 0. Now what do I do from here? Remember that this y to the power of 6 is the same thing as y to the power of 3 to the power of 2. Then I have y to the power of 3 minus 2 to be equal to 0. And now what I did is to is for me to have um, y to the power of 3 in two places, right? So we're going to let a letter like letter x to be equal to y to the power of 3. And if I do that, it means that I'm going to be having x squared minus x minus 2 to be equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation that we can solve um, by factorization, right? Okay, so if we're going to solve this using factorization, the question will now be, what two numbers do we multiply to have minus 2? And then we put the two of them together to get minus 1. Okay, because minus 1 is the coefficient of this, right? Now, what if I pick um, minus 2 and um, plus 1? If I pick minus 2 and plus 1, if you put the two together, you have minus 1, right? Yes, and then minus 2 times minus 2 times um, times 1 will give us minus 2, right? So that means the two numbers will be minus 2 and plus 1, okay? Now, in that case, my x minus 2 will be one of the factors, and then the next factor will be x plus 1, which will be equal to 0. Now let's apply zero product rule so that um, x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 1 is equal to 0. Here, from here, x will be equal to 0 plus 2, that is 2. Or on this side, x will be equal to minus 1. But remember that we were not looking for the value of x, so we are looking for the value of y. And we say that y is equal to 3 to the power of x. So when I deal with this first, then I will have um, 2 over here. Okay, um, if I'm dealing with this, hold on. Okay, this is not correct. It is actually x. Okay, x to be equal to y to the power of 3. Thank you, that was a mistake. We got x to be equal to y to the power of 3, right? So now, if x is equal to 2, then we come here and put our 2 to be equal to y to the power of 3. To make, you know, to do away with this 3, we need to take the cube root of both sides. So we get the cube root of 2, put 3 in there, which will be equal to y, because the cube root and the and this um, cube will cancel each other, right? So we can now see that y is equal to cube root of 2, which is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1 over 3. Okay, so here we have one of the solutions for, for the equation, right? Okay, remember we are going to find only the real solutions, right? Now, so for us to get the other, let me divide this um, space. For us to get the other solution, we are going to pick x to be equal to minus 1, right? Okay, so I'm going to write it over here. We have x to be equal to minus 1. But then, what do we say is x? We say that x is equal to y to the power of 3, right? And that means that y to the power of 3 will be equal to minus 1 because x is now minus 1. If this is the case, then y to the power of 3 plus 1 is equal to 
0. And do not forget that this is the same thing as y to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 3 equals 0. Now we can apply a standard to deal with this. Remember that if you have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this will be the same thing as a plus b. You have this. Then into a squared minus a b plus b squared. This will be the same thing, right? Now, because of this, I'm going to apply the same principle here now so that um, a plus b becomes y plus 1. So we have y plus 1 in the first bracket. Then a squared here becomes y squared. Then minus ab becomes y times 1, which will be y. Then plus b squared becomes 1 squared, right? So I have 1 squared over here. And everything is equal to 0. Let's continue. So we have y plus 1 into y squared minus 1. Okay, minus y plus 1 because 1 squared is 1. Everything is equal to 0. Now, we will apply our 0 product rule to say that um, either of this is equal to 0. I will pick this quadratic expression first and I will equate it to 0. So if I have y squared minus y plus 1 to be equal to 0, this is quadratic, right? And then you can solve this by using the formula method. And then we look at the discriminant, right? Where you have um, our d to be equal to square root of b squared minus 4ac. Now, if whatever we have in this is equal to 0, is, is um, negative, then it will give us no real solution, right? Now, according to this, our b squared will now be you know, we have minus 1 squared. We have minus 1 squared. Then minus 4 multiplied by A is 1. And C is also 1. Okay? So that if you continue with this, you're going to have minus 1 squared is 1 minus 4. And this is going to give us square root of negative 3. Right? And because it's negative... Because this is negative, we will not be able to proceed with this because we have to reject whatever we have from here. We have to reject whatever that we have from here. Now, let's go over to the second factor where we got y plus 1, right? Now, from that y plus 1, y plus 1 is equal to 0. And this means that y is actually equal to um, 0 minus 1, and that will give negative 1, okay? So this becomes another solution to the equation, right? Now, let's bring the two solutions together. Let's bring the two solutions together. We have y to be equal to 2 to the power of 1 over 3. And then we also have y to be equal to minus 1. Now, these are the two real solutions for the equation. Thank you for watching.